Okay, ready to roll. All right, you guys, we went and caught some beautiful trout this morning out of a wild river. And I wanted to show you a really neat technique how to clean these that maybe a lot of you guys have never seen before. And uh, this will, when you clean these, it'll give the fish a lot more flavor and it'll take some of the bones out of them. And then the fish, you'll end up with the meat that will suck in the flavor if you don't happen to like a trout skin. So let me show you how I do this, you guys. So, so first I'm going to cut the tail off. My shadow is right. Okay. So first I'm going to cut the tail off, you guys. And then I'm just going to do... I'm just going to clean them how all of us normally do, and you cut through the gills. And then you start right at the tail end, and you're going to come up through the bottom of the fish. And then you just stick your thumb down in here, and you're going to pull all the guts out. And then I like to give them a good rinse again. And then this is the neatest thing that I really like to do with these trout is you just you just grab under their chin right there and you pop it and then you stick your thumb right there and then you just kind of like a banana and then that skin just pops right off of that fish and look how beautiful that orange is and then if you turn the fish over and you just run your thumb down both sides of that bone right there and that bone and all that fat pops out of that fish so you lose a lot of the fishy flavor if you don't like the fishy flavor and then you can turn them over and do the same thing with this back fin and it just pops right off and then you end up with a beautiful fish and when you cook the fish you're just going to grab this bone right here and it's just going to pull right up and you're going to end up with two fish fillets and it's going to be beautiful because all your flavor is going to be in there and you've got rid of a lot of the fishy flavor inside the fish through the back and that's kind of a neat trick that i really like to do and uh, anyway check that out you guys you can do it on little fish or big fish and it works absolutely wonderful and and you just end up with such a nice piece of fish for uh, to cook up and we're going to cook them up tonight with some fresh currants we just picked and and we're going to have a wild trout dinner with some wild currants uh, on top and it's going to be pretty darn awesome <laughs>